seems to me the overarching theme here that unites all three of our positions is boundary dissolution. Psychedelic drugs dissolve boundaries, the World Wide Web dissolves boundaries, and certainly the discovery that our pets are communicating, anticipating, and understanding us is a boundary dissolving perception. So really what we're saying is we must dissolve the artificial boundaries that confine our perceptions. Someone once said if we could feel what we are doing to the earth, we would stop immediately. Because a man hitting himself on the head with a ball peen hammer stops immediately. The feedback <laughs> loop is very short. So we have compartmentalized our lives, and this allows us to do the fatal and lethal work that is de 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 destroying the planet, de de destroying community, so forth and so on. You might search your own soul and ask uh, what obsession or interest of mine would contribute to the grand project of boundary dissolution. But certainly, it is not the affirmation of cultural values. Culture is a scheme for maintaining and creating boundaries. It replaces reality with a linguistically supported delusion. And behind that delusion, then, pogroms, programs of genocide, arms races, sexism, racism, all can operate very, very comfortably. Love is a boundary dissolving enterprise. So I think each of us should find ways to express love. And it's not it's not treacly, it's not woo-woo, it's a very practical matter that has thousands of expressions. As long as we believe in mind and matter, rich and poor, living and dead, aboriginal and advanced, black and white, man and woman, then we're inevitably going to carry on a dualistic analysis of our dilemma and we're going to produce incomplete agendas and answers.